What's up guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you some of the apps that's on my iPad, so let's get started. Flipboard is an app that lets you browse all of your news in a flippy kind of tile layout of all of your news from Twitter, Facebook, or any of the sites or content sources that you follow on Flipboard. They have Twitter and Facebook integration so you can connect it to those and get all of your Twitter and or Facebook news. For example, if I go into Twitter, I can see all the tweets that people have posted. I can flip through these and it kind of looks like a, a newspaper, uh, but it, it's just so much funner than a newspaper. It's on your iPad. Uh, so let's say this story right here interests me. I want to tap on it. This is a story that someone tweeted. Uh, up here, I've got a little excerpt of the story. If I flick up, I can read the whole story on the web page it was posted on. I can go back here if I tap up in the left-hand corner, and that will take me back to the view. I can also, if I wanted to tap onto a story and I wanted to scroll to the next one, just flip over and it takes you to the next one. This is uh, actually a tweet. What it does is it takes all of your pictures, your links, uh, your photos from your Twitter stream that people have posted and makes it in a really nice format that's fun to browse. It also works with video, so as you see here, it's loaded up the video. I can go ahead and tap on that to play. Looks like it's a YouTube video. I'm not going to play that, but it's awesome. It's just a fun way to browse all of your Twitter news. And also even Facebook. I like doing it for Facebook. It, it takes a lot of the videos and pictures you post on Facebook as well as status updates and uh, just makes it an easy, fun way to browse. You can also add more content sources to your home screen right here uh, by tapping the More button. They've got categories you can browse through, or they've got the Feature tab, which shows you some of the recommended things to follow. Uh, so let's say I wanted to follow something tech. Uh, I can click on the Tech and Science category and follow all of these tech sites, and they have a lot of them there. And you can even search uh, for anything that you want to add to it in case it's not on this list. So let's say I wanted to add Mashable, I just tap on Mashable, uh, it goes to their feed right here, and I just hit add, and it's going to add it to my favorites, which is basically the home screen. Flipboard is a free download in the App Store, so I definitely recommend you check it out. It has made me actually start reading all of the news that I follow. So this next app that I'm going to show you guys is actually a game, and it just came out recently. It's called Ball Invasion. This app is an augmented reality game that allows you to play with the surroundings around you. And I'm going to go ahead and mute that because I don't want to hear that music. Uh, so here at the main menu, you've got play, instant action, or more. I'm just going to go ahead and play. Uh, you've got tons of different levels here. They seriously get way harder as you play through them. Uh, but this game is going to get you up off your feet and uh, get you playing with some of the surroundings around you using the iPad's camera. This doesn't work for the first generation iPad, again, because it does need a camera. Uh, but you can check this out uh, for only $1 in the App Store if you have the iPad 2. So I'm actually on like level 2 right now, which is called Sharpshooter. But just for the sake of this video, I'm going to start out on level 1 just because it will make it a lot easier for me to film. Uh, okay, so it says, number 1, aim your camera at a flat surface. I'm aiming here at my Angry Birds picture just because it has a lot of detail on it. Uh, tap to uh, initiate the play field creation. Now what you got to do is bring your iPad closer to the surface and then left to right and it's going to fill up the bar as it gets uh, a good look at your play area. So now as you can see uh, it's kind of got the little play area where uh, it's going to go. And now as you can see there's little balls floating in the air around my Angry Birds poster. So basically the goal of this is to tap the screen and it shoots a little ball and you're going to try to hit the little balls that are floating there in the air uh, to make them explode. So as you see I'm basically poning noobs right now. Just to show you guys how good this augmented reality works, if you look here, I can actually go up under the balls, and it looks like they're seriously just floating there right in the air. It's just like really, really amazing how they can do this, uh, and how they can make it look like it's part of the world uh, that the camera is seeing. So since the iPad doesn't come with a calculator app, I figured I'd show you guys this app called Calculator for iPad Free. Uh, obviously, you can tell in the title that it is free. Uh, it's asking me to review it. Not right now. Uh, so this is basically just a simple calculator. Uh, works fine. You can work it in portrait or landscape. If you have it like this, you're actually going to see more buttons. Uh, and it's a basic calculator. I figured I'd show you guys this. I use it sometimes when I'm using my iPad to add and subtract all my money. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, there is one thing at here at the bottom, this stupid ad that like constantly is moving. Uh, so you could upgrade to Pro, and I'm, I'm guessing it will remove that, and you can add more skins to this. I don't really know somebody that uses a calculator enough to have to have different skins on it, but if you want that option, you can do it. So again, if you guys would like to check it out, it is free in the App Store, and you can have a calculator on your iPad. This next app is kind of a guilty pleasure of mine. Uh, it's called Words with Friends. I have the HD free version. Uh, you can pay $2, I think it is, maybe $5 or $3 for the iPad app. 
uh, to get the ads removed. But this app is seriously addicting. Holy crap. So basically this is Scrabble. Except with Scrabble, you have to sit there in front of the board and you have to finish the game. Uh, you can't just come back and play it whenever you want to. I mean, you can, but it'd be kind of awkward. With this, you can make your move and then your friend can make a move a week later whenever they want to. And then it'll be your turn. Uh, and it's just a fun, slow way of playing Scrabble. Uh, or you can play fast if you're like me and you sit there wasting hours and hours of your day playing words with friends. It is a Zynga game, so it connects with Facebook, so you can play your friends from your iPhone, your iPad, uh, and you can even play the ones that are on Facebook. For example, uh, this is my cousin right here. He's on Facebook. Uh, so here's the game we have loaded up. You can tap in uh, to Zoom. You can see all my letters I have here. It's basically just like uh, Scrabble. You got triple letters, double word scores, uh, double letters, uh, triple words. So let's say I take this S and put it right here over this double letter score. Uh, it's going to make the word tires and it's going to give me a double word score for all of this. So instead of getting one, two, three, four, five points for this for each letter, I'm actually going to get 10. So let's go ahead and play that. And there we go. And I'm actually killing my cousin. I have 279 and he has like like 99. So I'm almost beating him by 200. Uh, these are the ads that pop up. They're actually really annoying. Uh, sometimes they don't even load up for me. But again, you can pay $2 uh, and do that and get those removed. But I don't really mind skipping through the ads. They have a chat button right here so you can actually chat with your friend you're playing with. Uh, he's actually on Facebook right now. So it, it works where they can chat on Facebook and you can chat on your iPad. You can tap the create button right here to start a new game with one of your Facebook friends, a random opponent, a username that you already know, uh, somebody from a contact list, or you can actually hand off the game to one of your friends uh, to play it out for you. And then your games right here so you can browse through all of your games. Uh, it tells you their move like when it's on them. Uh, you can see all of your moves that you have pending. This app has push notifications so when somebody makes a move and it's your turn it will push notification and let you know. So yeah, go ahead and download Words with Friends. I would say I'd play with you guys but I already have a lot of games going already and it already wastes way too much of my time as it is so I'm not going to do that. So if you send me an invite I will have to decline it. I'm sorry. I just don't have enough time during the day to do that. So the next app I want to talk about is Netflix. Most of you probably already know what this is in case you don't. Uh, it is a service that allows you to instantly stream movies and TV shows to your devices or rent movies to your home. The app is free to download but you do have to be subscribed to the service to actually log in and use it. Uh, I pay for the streaming plan which is like seven, eight dollars a month uh, and I love it. I seriously use this every single night. With the Netflix app, you can stream all the instant stream content on Netflix, uh, which means tons and tons of TV shows and movies and all that stuff. If you want to play something, we'll tap on Curious George. You basically just tap on it and it will begin playing. Just give it a second here. And it's loading up. And there we go. It's going to start playing. I'm going to go ahead and pause that before it starts playing because I am not getting hit with copyright. In my opinion, the movies are slacking a little bit on Netflix. There's tons and tons of older movies, but nobody wants to watch those all the time. Uh, but thankfully, they are adding a lot of new titles to Netflix lineup. Uh, one of the newer movies they just added is The Expendables. So if you want to go ahead and watch that, I definitely recommend it. It was a great movie. Uh, go check it out. So I'm not going to spend too much time on Netflix, but if you guys want to sign up, you can go to netflix.com slash tie and sign up. That's my URL, short link. It'll give you 30 days free. Uh, so go check it out. And just a quick note, a lot of you guys have told me that Netflix is not available in your country. Well, they are now expanded into Latin America, and I think they're expanding into Europe soon, so that's really nice. This next app is called Video Jug, and basically it's an app of thousands of how-to videos, just teaching you how to do various things. If you want to just browse around for random how-to videos, you can tap Browse up here at the top and go through the most viewed hot now or newest uh, how-to videos and this is a great app to just stumble along random things and just learn how to do them. I, I don't know, I just find interest in, in how-to videos uh, like how to win at arm wrestling. Like I don't know how well you could teach somebody to really arm wrestle uh, but I don't know, it just sounds cool and it makes me want to click on it so I want to learn how to arm wrestle so if I want to I tap on it, I hit play and the video begins playing. Hey, welcome to Video Chuck. I'm James Lamont and like any red-blooded man so anyways, I'm going to pause that. Don't want to see that uh, right now. Uh, so yeah, you can browse through tons of different content. If you want to, you can even search. So let's say I wanted to get good at skateboarding. I want to learn how to skateboard. We're going to type in skateboard. 
And there we go. Pulled up some skateboarding videos. How to ollie on a skateboard. So if I want to tap on that, I can go ahead and play. And this guy is going to teach me something that I already know that I can probably do 10 times better than him anyway. If you want to check it out, it is free in the App Store. I've wasted a lot of time on it just browsing around through random how-to videos, learning random things, or just being entertained because it's a good time waster. The next app I'm going to show you guys is the Realtor.com app. If you're in search for a house for sale, uh, an apartment for rent, or a house for rent, this is definitely uh, the app for you. I actually like this better than the Realtor.com website. Uh, so you can start here and start a new search. You can search homes for sale, uh, open houses, or homes for rent. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to start a new search. Uh, you can search whatever area you want by typing it in here, or you can do current location near you. Uh, you can set the radius, so how far it's going to be away from the location you're wanting to live in. I'm going to set the price to any. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Actually, you know what? Let's set it to like, like 10 million plus. Actually, let's not do it that big. We'll do uh, like 2 million plus. Uh, you can set your bedrooms. You can basically set everything. Uh, the age of the home, the lot size, uh, the property features, like say you want to have a basement, a den, you want to have an office, a carport. You can set all that stuff. Uh, even select if you want to have animals or not in case you have to like do pet deposits and all that. Uh, so let's go ahead and hit search now. And it's going to give me all the places uh, depending on the criteria that I searched. So here's all the houses in my price range that I searched. Holy crap, I didn't know there was that many expensive houses. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tap on one of these. Uh, you can see the overview of the house. You can see when it was listed, uh, the broker. Uh, you can actually view it on map or get directions to the place. That's really nice. Uh, you can see the details of it. So you can see all the features here, all the rooms, the laundry. Oh my God, this place has a lot of stuff. <laughs> how many acres the land is, how, how big the lot size is. This is my favorite part. You can actually browse through the photos and this is a really fun uh, view. So if you want to, you can just scroll through all of these and see the house. Uh, wow, that looks like a really, really nice house. Holy crap, I wanna move into this place. Dang, that is a nice kitchen. Anyways, uh, yeah, you can browse through all the pictures of the house. It's really nice. I actually like this, again, better than the layout uh, on the website. And then of course they have the contact tab so you can actually contact uh, the person that is listing the house or selling the house or whatever. Definitely check this app out if you've been looking for a new place. Me and my girlfriend have been looking for apartments and this app has helped us out a lot to find a lot of the places uh, that we've looked at. So it's really nice. I definitely recommend you check it out. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this and maybe found a cool app for your iPad. If you have any suggestions that you'd like me to cover in a video or you think I should put in one of my next Ty's iPad Apps videos, let me know in the comments below. I'm interested to hear your app suggestions. If you missed my last video, go ahead and click right there and check it out. A girl did a speed drawing of me and I posted it on my YouTube channel. Channel. I think it's amazing and I'm pretty sure you guys will enjoy it. Let me know if you guys want to see more of these videos and I will see you in the next one. Peace.